Hey, welcome to Black Coal Woodworking. My name's Matt. Today, I'm going to be staining some samples. I'm going to show you how I make my homemade custom stain and what it looks like on pine or spruce and also poplar. I've got two different varieties of stain, but I also want to test different types of wax. So as you can see, I've got my control on the left. BLO stands for boiled linseed oil. And then I'm going to have a dark ash plus wax. It's going to be coconut wax. And I also have a light ash with coconut wax. And I'm also going to do the same dark and light ash with regular boiled linseed oil wax. So first thing I do is I prepare my stain. And in this case, this is the dark stain. It's really just a piece of spruce or pine that has been burnt in a fireplace and I'm just taking the leftover charcoal. I'm also going to have a control piece that is just boiled linseed oil on both the spruce and the poplar. Applying the stain is pretty simple. I crunch up a paper towel, dip it in boiled linseed oil, dab on some stain of whichever variety I want, rub it all over the piece of wood, and then take a clean paper towel and rub off the excess. You could leave it on there longer just to see what it does. I, that's not part of this test. Uh, the part of the test that I am going to leave for a while is actually going to be the wax. I want to see how long I need to wait before I have to rub the wax part off. So that's a bit of this test as well because you'll see once the wax goes on it actually lightens up the color again in some cases. So first test I'm rubbing the wax on immediately after staining the piece and as you can see it works quite well and you don't get any or very little residue on your fingers. It still needs to dry and cure. But I want to see also what happens if I leave the stain, you know, for an hour after I've wiped off the excess. I want to see if it's dried a little bit. Would that help kind of maintain some of the color? And I guess to take this test further, I might do another batch at some point where I wait like a couple of days. Maybe that will keep even more of the stain color. Part of this test for me is to see how quickly I can get through the finishing process with wood. I don't want to have to let it sit for days on end. I would rather be able to stain it and put a finish on it and then let it be. So let's see what we get. So here we have all the pieces of wood stained and anytime I wanted to add the wax immediately, that's also done. What you're not seeing is the wax after we let the stain sit for an hour. And yes, the excess has been rubbed off, but I'm just hoping the stain will dry a little bit at least. And then after that hour, I went back and added the wax. So there's the boiled linseed oil wax going on. And that is actually a mixture of one part wax to four parts boiled linseed oil. And the coconut wax is actually going to be a mixture of two parts wax to one part coconut oil. I think what I might do in the future is try to thin out that wax a little bit because it is a little thick. In some cases it's nice, like when I did the, the hammer, that wax was thicker and that was actually really nice for the hammer. It's just a tiny bit more durable. As I was waxing these pieces, I noticed that for the most part, the coconut oil wax seems to take some of the, the depth of the color down, whereas the boiled linseed oil wax did less of that. And you can see right there in that dark piece especially, it just lightened it up quite a bit. So here's the boiled linseed oil version, and it does a little bit as well as far as lightening it up, but not as much. And I think that might be due to the boiled linseed oil wax just being a little bit thinner and easier to apply. Here are all the pieces in their final state, the poplars on top again, and the pine or spruce on the bottom. They've all had the color on and they've all been waxed. 
What I like most about these kinds of stains is that they're very natural. There's no chemicals in there other than boiled linseed oil and whatever chemicals that comes with. One other sample I thought of at the end was just adding wax, no stain color. So I actually do this on a lot of my projects because it brings out the depth of the wood. On these samples you won't see it that as much other than those little orange spots. Uh, that does highlight you know, different characters in the sapwood for example that is really nice. So I did the coconut oil wax and now here's the boiled linseed oil wax. And here we can see the subtle color differences. The boiled linseed oil wax is usually a little more orange and the coconut oil is just more natural looking. And here are some examples that I've built with the dark stain. As you can see when you get into any kind of characters in the wood, and this is all spruce or pine, um, that really makes it stand out. I love that color. And for light stain, uh, we made the bench in our entrance and used the light stain on that and it turned out beautiful. And then here are some wax only stains. These are just really going to highlight the natural beauty that's already in the wood. If I've earned your subscription today, thank you. Please also share the video and hit that like button. I'd also like to know which stain or wax you like the best. Drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.